Google is constantly working on its voice assistant capabilities. And since it's all done via voice commands, not many people are aware of the changes. App shortcuts on Android are a way to launch apps into a specific intent. For example, YouTube has an app shortcut that lets you go straight to the subscriptions page of the application or directly to the shorts or search or explore sections. The Google camera application has app shortcuts that bring you straight to the video recording panel and one that lets you quickly take a photo of yourself. These app shortcuts can even be dragged onto the home screen so that it functions like its own application icon. And that makes these specific actions much quicker to access. But not many people are aware that you can launch some of these app shortcuts with a simple voice command using Google Assistant. And you can also customize these voice commands to a word or phrase that is unique to you and is easy for you to say. To find this feature, we first need to open up the settings application. And from here, we're going to search for the word assistant. You should see the Google Assistant settings option. And we're going to tap that to go into the settings area for the Google Assistant. Again, there are a lot of options and features for Google Assistant. So let's scroll through this whole list until you find the shortcuts option. Sadly, you're not going to be getting a list of every app shortcut that you have available. I have noticed some apps offer this feature with their shortcut, but others do not. These options are not limited to system apps only. Since I've been able to get the LinkedIn shortcut to populate in this list, but I'm also not seeing shortcuts for every application I have installed since Pushbullet is not listed here. I can only assume that the developer has to add in this functionality for it to appear in this list. But I recommend you go to this page so that you can scroll through this list and see all of the app shortcuts that you have access to with a Google Assistant voice command. So if, for example, we wanted to use our voice to open up the Google Play Store application directly to the My Apps section, then we can do that by tapping on the Play Store option right here, selecting My Apps, and then you can see it has been added to our shortcuts. We can even go back to the main shortcuts page to where we have the Explore tab and the Your Shortcuts tab. And the My Apps shortcut has been added so we can launch the Google Play Store directly to this page with a simple voice command of saying My Apps. When you first add a shortcut to Google Assistant, it will give you the default voice command for that app shortcut but they can also be customized. If we wanted to change them, we just have to find the shortcut in this list and then tap the pencil icon next to it. So instead of saying my apps to launch this app shortcut, we could change that to just apps. You can see that change has been added here. And we can go in, apps, to launch that exact app shortcut. And remember, we can change this to any word or phrase that we want. 
This can be done with all of the app shortcuts that are available in this list. I have been unable to find a dedicated list of apps that work with this feature. So I can only recommend you find this page within the settings application on your phone or tablet to see which of your apps are supported. I do hope to see this feature opened up to all app shortcuts for Android in the future. But again, Google has likely set this feature up so that it only works when a third party application developer has manually added support for it. So I encourage you to contact your favorite developers if you would like to see a specific app shortcut added to the Google Assistant shortcuts feature.